Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all the King of Fighters games I found for Java. The King of Fighters games are decent games for Java standards, but don't expect too much from the games. They are very basic, and because they are so basic the replay value has to suffer. You don't get that many moves, especially in the King of Fighters M2. In that game you get only 4 characters and the game is way too basic, even for a Java game. But fortunately, from 2009, the games are okay. Well, actually from 2010, because 2009 is a game I couldn't run. It was all in Chinese, and I don't know Chinese. So yeah, maybe it's a good game, but I have no idea how to start it. But the rest of them, I play them. And you get a handful of moves, the collision is good for most of the time, there are times though when you don't feel the collision that well, but those are rare, those occasions are rare. There are around 7 characters, overall they are good fighting games for Java standards, but don't expect to have the depth of the original games. On Java you get only a faded memory of the original games, something that tries to imitate the experience. It just resembles King of Fighters, but it isn't. It succeeds to imitate the original games only in a fraction. So beware when you try to play these games on Java. They are only a reminiscence of the original King of Fighters games. But they are still good for Java standards. King of Brawl is an arcade game, which means that you get a set of lives and when you're out, out of them, you get restarted at the beginning of the game. It's a very arcade game. So if you want to beat the game, you have to beat it in the lives given. The combat feels good, but some more moves would have been nice. I mean, you have one punch button and one wave button. Those are all the moves you get in the game. And the two moves are the ones that you see now on screen. Yeah. Those are the two moves. That's it. You can level up your character by fighting, but I haven't noticed any difference after the level up. As far as the game goes, it takes you somewhere around 40 minutes to beat the game. It has 5 zones, and each zone has a boss battle. If what I said sounds good, try it. The game is decent. It catches the arcade feel. I mean, it feels like an old school arcade game, but some more moves or even an upgrade system would have made the game better. And by upgrade system I mean to, to have a shop where you could buy more moves or to be able to unlock more moves, something like that. Because the level up system doesn't, it's just aesthetic. Just like the character select menu, you get one character. Why have a menu for that? But even if the game has some significant drawbacks, it's still a fun and challenging arcade beat em up game. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.